Hello, in this video we're going to talk about simulating discrete time models and we're going to work in one variable. In future videos we'll talk about two variables. So I'd like to begin by talking about an array. This is a data structure in many different programming languages. We'll focus on MATLAB, but when we talk about an array it's simply a matrix. There are values in the different positions. So for example, in our first position, the value is 4. We would denote that by saying x parentheses 1 equals 4. And this notation says x is the name of the array. The number in the parentheses, that 1, means first position. and equals 4, that tells us, that 4 tells us the value in that position. So for example, if I wanted to list the other values here, I could say the parentheses 2 equals, well the value in the second position is 10. Similarly, x parentheses 3, what's the value in the third position? That's 0. x parentheses 4 that's a point 0.2, and x parentheses 5 equals 6. So this is an, a really useful way to keep track of lots of data, right? If we had like a list of 10 numbers or 100 numbers, we could make an array, and we could stuff those numbers into the array to keep track of them, and we could call them out and plot them and do all sorts of things. Okay, so let's take a look at a discrete time model in one variable. So here's our model and we're going to work on simulating this model. It's a model of exponential growth actually, but here's the model. It looks like x sub t equals a times x sub t minus 1. So let's take a look at what this means. On the left hand side, the x sub t, this tells us our current value for t equals a, this is just some parameter for our model, we'll let a be some number like 1.1. And then x sub t minus 1, this is the previous value of t. So basically the model says current x equals a times past x. Okay, but we'll write it as x sub t equals a times x sub t minus 1. Alright, so we're going to hop over to MATLAB, but before we do that I want to talk a little bit about our approach in MATLAB. Okay, so this is like our game plan and if you really want to be fancy here, you could call this uh, the pseudocode for what we're going to code up in, in MATLAB. Okay, so we are going to first of all initialize all our variables. And we'll do that over in MATLAB. I'll show you how to do that. And some things that we want to consider there, we'll need to set a equal to 1.1. We decided that's the value of a. And we need to define that x, define x as an array. And we'll do that using uh, the zeros command. So x will be zeros by some number of rows. We'll do one row by maybe a hundred columns, something like that. The next thing we'll need to do is we'll need to run our simulation and what we'll do is uh, we'll need to know what is x1, so what's our initial condition, our initial maybe population size, or initial amount of money in the bank, whatever it is we're modeling with x. So we'll need to set that. And then we need to determine um, what is x sub t. Okay, well we know what that is from our model. So we will need some sort of for loop to define that 
our next value of t, or our current value of t, is a times whatever the previous value of t is. Okay, so we'll need some sort of for loop. And then once we've done all of that, our last goal here will be to plot the data.